Duncan, it's been a while since we've had a league game back at Gander Green Lane and that couldn't have gone any better for you, could it? No, it was very good. Um, I think um, we had a bad couple of games, bad experience away in the FA Cup, which taught us a lesson. And then, yes, um, sorry, yesterday, last week uh, against Abbey Rangers, we set out a different plan. Um, worked very well and then today we just carried out executed it brilliantly um, couldn't ask for more I mean eight goals fantastic Sophie Barnes with four Keisha coming off the bench and getting a hat trick so and then Darcy getting her goal as well so excellent performance 149 people here brilliant great day now obviously the eight goals were fantastic but well, I imagine one of the standout moments for you was Hersey's save at the end of the game to make sure that you kept the clean sheet and the roar that we got from the crowd it's not something we've enjoyed for quite a while now and it was different to the last six months of football that we've had to deal with but how, how crucial was it that you kept the performance up and kept a clean sheet as well massive uh, me Matt my um, head coach is deals with all the um, defence, so he's in charge of that area. Uh, in, the, in the dugout, every time I was making changes, he was going, look, we need a clean sheet, we need a clean sheet. It doesn't matter if we're winning eight, nine nil, we need that clean sheet. And that save is absolutely top draw. And we're very fortunate that we've got two very good goalkeepers in the first team. We've got two very young goalkeepers in the under 21s. And lots of teams are struggling for keepers, so we're very, very lucky in that way. And Paige, I mean, this is a second game after having her baby and was absolutely brilliant. It's a great save, really, really top draw save. Just as we, we celebrated that as much as any of the goals, to be honest, because it was the moment and everything. It was great save. Very good. And you had to welcome quite a few new signings, have their first game here at Gander Green Lane today. How would you assess all of them as uh, their performance? Obviously, the team did really well, but as individuals? Yeah, I mean, Mika and Olivia out wide, the, the, the pace that them two have got is, is brilliant. And it gives us a new dimension where we're playing there. And Fern is, is settling in now alongside T, is doing really well. Massive competition. I mean, you saw the bench was very strong. Plus, we had Hayley Hallford missing. We had Aaron out still um, with concussion. So... Um, it's very pleasing um, we, we've got a very strong side and we've got cover in every position at the moment and um, we saw obviously Sophie Barnes scored four but uh, a hat-trick for Keisha Small who's usually uh, last season was in the defensive two in the midfield but she played in the number 10 role and a bit out wide today is that something that you've known of her as an attacking ability um, to well, to see, did you know that she had it in her to get herself a hat-trick and play in that number 10 role? And is that something we'll see more of towards the rest of the season? Yeah, I think she's an engine, isn't she? She can get around anywhere on the pitch. And she's, I mean, she's a very, very good player. Um, and I can put her anywhere. I really could. I reckon I could put her in the back four and she'd still do a very good job there. I mean, the amount of energy... I think she had a point to prove when she came on to me. It looked like she was kind of saying, hang on, I, I should be in the starting eleven. And yeah, probably she should be sometimes, you know what I mean? But it's, it's difficult when you've got such a strong squad. Um, but she took her goals brilliantly. She could probably had about five, to be fair. She still she missed one or two as well. Um, but it's probably one of the quickest hat-tricks I've seen. And she's... I mean, you, you, you've seen her play plenty of times. You know how pacey she is and she can fit into any role there she can play as the holding midfielder she can break things up and she can drag the team up further um, and we needed a bit more pace when Olivia and, and um, Mika got a bit tired and she came on and she was absolutely superb and how do you react to a massive win like today in the next few days do you have to try and calm the team down to prepare for the next game or do you try and allow the excitement and the adrenaline to keep going throughout the week I think it's a difficult one. We've got New London Lionesses next week, who, with us, I'd probably say the league favourites. They're always going to be our, our closest competition. Um, so, yes, you want to keep the momentum going, you want to keep the players on a high, but also I said to them, looking at the score, I said to them, pointing at the scoreboard, if it's like that next week, then I'd be more pleased, yeah, because they're the team that we need to challenge. They're the team we need to overcome to win the league. Um, so we'll keep them grounded Thursday. We'll do a lot of work during the week as well, training, um, and, and we'll keep their foot firmly on, on the floor um, as such but also you, you kind of you've got to let them celebrate a little bit yeah well best of luck for next week and very well done for today thank you very much